Hello there YouTube, Devin here again. Uh, just got back from my morning run where I got rained on and everything, so I'm dressed a little weird. Um, very hot in here because I had to shut my windows because it's raining or you'd probably hear that. You actually still might hear it. one of my windows is cracked slightly. Um, but we're going to show you today uh, something that, uh, if you can't tell, I'm kind of big into history, turn of the century style history to World War One, And uh, we are refinishing a stock uh, in a very uh, antiquated kind of turn of the century way, very authentic. Uh, but this is also actually a, a, a very environmentally friendly way to finish a stock and uh, or redo a stock to preserve the finish that the stock currently has um, in the case with the stock that I'm doing. So this is a my P14 stock. Um, and as you can see here, it's it's quite shiny because it's had two coats of tongue oil put onto it. And tongue oil is, um, you really can't see the label because of how shiny it is, but there, there you go. Uh, tongue oil is the oil from a tree that is incredibly toxic if you get it in your body. Uh, this stuff though, you can get it on your hands. Um, it doesn't stink too bad, so you can do it in an unventilated environment. Um, it's not going to, to hurt you. The fumes won't anyways, but don't get it in your eyes or like in your mouth uh, For obvious reasons it, it is bad for humans um, But what this stuff does is it, it's an oil from the seeds of the tongue tree and uh, tongue is t-u-n-g and What this stuff does is when this oil exposes to air for a length of time uh, They recommend six to eight hours in a dry environment. So it's going to take a lot longer to here because of how humid it is right now but when you do that it produces this kind of semi-gloss protective coating and this protective coating uh, doesn't like get liquidy or tacky when it gets hot so you can take your rifle out in the sun um, relatively well as long as you let the layers dry enough now if you apply a second layer uh, too early before the first layer is entirely dry your finish will get tacky and horrible and stuff and we don't we don't need that now so so what we're going to do today is um i didn't put any base layers of tongue oil on you can finish a piece of wood entirely with tongue oil um if you have a bare piece of wood they recommend mixing it one to one with like turpentine or some other kind of wood alcohol um because it helps absorb it in better which is going to give you a much more protective coating um but it will change the color of the wood um, now, if you're just using it as a topical protectant, you don't want to mix it with anything. You want to use 100% tongue oil. And that doesn't really change the color. As you can see, uh, my P14 stock was already finished. Um, so I didn't want to change the color of the finish. I just wanted to throw a protective layer of uh, coating over it. So I didn't, I didn't mix mine. And uh, this stuff is really easy to do for beginners. Um, you don't need it's it's really hard to put on too much or too little the oil kind of spreads out as it dries and stuff And you will get dull spots in the wood on the first couple of coats uh, And that's totally fine because tongue oil really needs like eight to ten coats if you're if you're really trying to build up that protective layer, you know um, It needs six to eight hours between so you need about a week to do all this. It, it takes a while um but the dull spots, you know, you just, you'll get, those will eventually go away with each layer and you'll get a nice semi-gloss, um, two gloss finish, depending on, um, obviously how it dried and everything like that. But if, uh, you don't want a, a really, really bright finish, you can take a, a sanding sponge and kind of knock some of the shine off of it after you're all done putting the layers on, uh, for sure. Um, but this is really, really easy to apply. Uh, I have just a cloth shop towel. If you're a mechanic, you know what these are. Um, it's not paper. It's an actual like fabric shop towel, or you could use a rag or a sock or something you have laying around to apply this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do any more on the, the, the upper hand guards. Those are done. Um, but the lower hand guard has a couple of, um, so the, the, the actual stock itself here has a couple uh, duller spots and it's had two coats put on it and the third coat should hopefully cover up a lot of those dull spots and then we we should be good it should be pretty set to to dry and get ready to be reassembled hopefully by the end of today so but I just figured I'd show you guys how I go through this process of applying it and letting you see how it all works and everything like that and just uh 
hopefully, uh, if you're looking to refinish a rifle stock or you need to get a new rifle stock or you're just trying to maybe preserve the stock you have on your rifle, uh, this is a good way to do it. Uh, it's an, Like I said, it's an all-natural way, and it's actually a very historically correct way. A lot of you uh, American firearms enthusiasts, the turn of the century, uh, 1903s, and um, later on, uh, before World War II and during World War II, M1s were finished in tongue oil. And the U.S. actually imported tongue trees to Florida for the purpose of making tongue oil, um, but later they found out it was just easier to import it from Southeast Asia. Um, so now the tongue tree is considered an invasive species in Florida, but uh, That's the whole the point that it's it's around so it's it's a very useful finish uh, You can use it on any other kind of wood. It doesn't need to be just rifle stocks um, For preservative it's a, it's an incredibly durable finish um, For a hundred percent natural with no chemicals or anything if that's what you're into so you don't have to worry about getting super cancer or anything so now when you pour it out here, as you can see, um, it's kind of a yellowish tinge, but mostly clear. Uh, so it's not going to really change the color of your stock all that much. And then you just wanna wipe it on with the grain. Okay, and like I said, it's really hard to over apply or under apply tongue oil. That's, that's the thing that uh, kind of attracted me to it first. Um, because obviously the stock is an original stock. It's a piece of history. So I didn't want to um, Really Possibly ruin it by trying to like restain it or put a tacky finish on it or anything like that So I did a lot of reading and it, it turns out that this is what it probably was finished with anyways, so um, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it worked out and tongue oil is cheap. I think I got this whole big nice like glass bottle of it uh, for eight or nine bucks and this is probably gonna last me an entire lifetime so um, yeah it, you don't really need a whole lot of it um, you do need a lot of layers and it sounds like you would be using a lot more than you think with how many layers you have to put on but like I said the layers are pretty light they don't really need a whole lot of care you know and attention paid to them you just it's you're just basically waiting the best point would be to just make sure the layers are dry entirely and other than that you can put on as many layers as you want and the more layers you put on the more protective the coating is going to get obviously so but it's it's just a neat a neat thing that I didn't know previously and I'm just checking it to make sure I got it all on pretty evenly here and it's and it's pretty much that simple it's really hard to mess up applying tongue oil so there we go we're all done we just finished the stock as you can see it's much much shinier now well not really but um it's much shinier it doesn't really show up on camera and uh, obviously I'm not doing the inside of the stock you don't want that where you're gonna have like any really hot parts and stuff where the barrel might heat up and whatnot so but just the outside of the stock it's a really nice way to finish a stock and uh, I'm quite impressed with it I hope that you guys uh, are as well because it'll look pretty much like this when it's done It'll be much more protected from like your hand oils uh, It'll be protect stock from water and humidity keep it from changing color and all that other good stuff and um, Hopefully preserve it so it um, lasts a lot longer in the future So thank you all for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's probably one of my more boring videos but uh if you are interested in this or if you have any more questions on how to do this this is a this is a very easy thing to get if you're kind of younger um, you're trying to refinish a firearm or if you don't have a lot of experience this is a very good option so thank you so much for watching hopefully I'll see you all in the next video please leave uh, a like and stuff like that obviously leave comments with any questions you have I'd be more than happy to help you out when it comes to that rather than possibly ruining a piece of history please please give me questions if you're unsure or something and uh, if you feel like you want to support the channel or anything like that there's both links to my patreon and my paypal paypal is great for one one time things but if you want to support the channel for a long period of time you can uh, go to the about tab of my youtube channel and there's links to both of my my paypal and my patreon there patreon uh, supplied this tongue oil here um, and a few other stuff for some upcoming projects. So thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next video.